you're dying to pick that up, aren't yeah, you? It's okay, I can, yeah, I can see. <laughs> it's funny how we all see the garbage on our city streets, but we don't often see the litter actually being thrown. Nanaimo's Gary Barnier has a theory about that. But mainly, mainly I believe it's obese people. The what people? Obese. Oh. Because like any addiction or any addiction, alcoholism or anything else, you hide it. Of course, there are many other theories about litter and Gary has lots of time to think about them. Nothing bad happens to me in downtown. You can find him wandering the streets of downtown Nanaimo, picking up what others leave laying around. It's too bright. I knew you had to get that. It's, it's say bright things. It throws away from the urban setting, like bright cups and stuff. If I see red. This is two hours worth of garbage. Yeah. If I'm going fast and doing my thing, I get that wow. in like two hours of working. That's a lot of garbage. Well, You're different like, no, spots. <laughs> it, was <laughs> it was worse. It was worse. Gary's been doing this for about a year now. It gives him purpose and a sense of community. He belongs here, and people he's finding appreciate what he's doing. Oh, I've had little old ladies chase me down in walkers. This is a true. No, no, true funny story. They trapped me down by a, by the theater. And they go, we've been trying to catch up to you for a week, but you're so fast, you kept getting away. And others have given as well. The teak tree gave him his tip yeah. bowl. Actually, Vivers donated me 70 bucks for new wheels because I wore out my old wheels. Green Clean donates biodegradable garbage bags. He now has a dentist because someone saw his story in a newspaper article. And because he suffers from post-traumatic syndrome disorder, he's now benefiting from a psychologist who has donated his services. Comes down to poverty, really? Like if you're... It's so, it's, uh, you know, I had, a, yeah, I had a counselor I was working with, we are really kind of looking at that, not from my point of view, but from the social view, is that, uh, you know, does poverty cause mental illness? What do you say? I'd say generally... It, I just said it's for attributes. <laughs> <laughs> poverty, yes, that can make life hard and loneliness. Gary realized one day that he hadn't had touch from a human or an animal in more than two years. He was encouraged to find a companion. So we decided we need a pet and then it was like what kind of pet do you get because you can't really take care of a dog and, and we wanted something that was interactive and we didn't really know much about guinea pigs but he was like a dog. <laughs> And right now, yeah, yeah little dude like, has his own place on Gary's that. cart, so a custom-made contraption around, that Gary like built himself. Walker, parts of an old uh, table soccer game, uh, uh, an old fence, table legs. <laughs> and, uh, oh, sorry, that was my fault. I hit a bump. <laughs> Shocks. Next model has <laughs> next model has suspension. I went by, but the camera guy was there. Some days are better than others for Gary, and he just takes it one day at a time. Overall, his litter picking up has enriched his life in many ways. What is his hope? That someday his litter picking contributions will help him find better housing. He gets $900 a month on disability, and 600 of that goes to rent on a place that he says is moldy and uncomfortable. But because of the health clinics I hang out with and stuff, it's really hard to make anybody see who I really am. He'd love to get into the low barrier housing units that are scheduled to open on Wesley Street later this year, but he's scared he'll miss out. Little dude. In the meantime, Gary and little dude walk the streets of Nanaimo, making it a little bit cleaner and a little bit brighter. They're building friendships. Oh, we'll go pick up some litter. And warming the hearts of almost everyone they meet. In Nanaimo for Shaw TV, I'm Kate Bergen.